photo Jeff Chu, Associated Press San Francisco 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo practices at the team's NFL training facility in Santa Clara, California, Wednesday, November 1, 2017. AP photo Jeff Chu San Francisco 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo practices at the team's NFL training facility in Santa Clara, California, Wednesday, November 1, 2017. AP photo Jeff Chu photo Jeff Chu, Associated Press from left San Francisco 49ers general manager John Lynch, newly acquired quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo and head coach Kyle Shanahan during a news conference on Tuesday, October 31, 2017, in Santa Clara, California. The 49ers traded a second-round pick to the New England Patriots for quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo, less from left San Francisco 49ers general manager John Lynch, newly acquired quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo and head coach Kyle Shanahan during a news conference on Tuesday, October 31, 2017, in Santa Clara, California. The More Photo Santiago Mejia, the Chronicle San Francisco 49ers quarterbacks, C.J. Beathard, left, and Jimmy Garoppolo practice at the team's NFL training facility in Santa Clara, California, Wednesday, November 1, 2017. AP Photo Jeff Chu San Francisco 49ers quarterbacks, C.J. Beathard, left, and Jimmy Garoppolo practice at the team's NFL training facility in Santa Clara, California, Wednesday, November 1, 2017. AP Photo Jeff Chu Photo Jeff Chu, Associated Press San Francisco 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo throws during a practice at the team's NFL training facility in Santa Clara, California, Wednesday, November 1, 2017. AP Photo Jeff Chu San Francisco 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo throws during a practice at the team's NFL training facility in Santa Clara, California, Wednesday, November 1, 2017. AP Photo Jeff Chu Photo Jeff Chu, Associated Press 49ers trade for Jimmy Garoppolo speeds up rebuilding project This is an odd thing to write about an injury ravaged 08 team with five close losses, but here it goes man, the 49ers sure are lucky. How else to describe an organization that had a potential franchise quarterback land in their lap on Monday, a day after they stumbled to yet another defeat, the 49ers stumbled onto their first win of 2017 Jimmy Garoppolo. Suddenly, their brick be brick rebuilding project, an undertaking that appeared stalled until 2018, had a foundation. And, perhaps, a few walls, and a sweet kitchen with granite countertops and cathedral ceilings. As head coach Kyle Shanahan said, Garoppolo WASNT acquired from the Patriots for a second-round pick to save their season. Rather, he will be part of a future that instantly and unexpectedly became brighter about 24 hours after they became the first team in franchise history to start 08. An unbelievable opportunity came our way in the midst of what's really been a tough season, General Manager John Lynch said Tuesday. Where we are right now, it's not fun. But Kyle and I, and I think everybody in the building, feels positive things. I can tell you that what happened this weekend felt a lot better after yesterday. Garoppolo, who is working to grasp the playbook, will serve as the number two quarterback behind rookie C.J. Beathard when the 49ers host the Cardinals on Sunday. Garoppolo also serves as a symbol of an optimistic future while the other backup quarterback, Arizona's Blaine Gabbert, is a symbol of the 49ers' awful recent past. Before Monday, however, the 49ers' season felt much like 2016 when Gabbert opened the 214 season as the starter. Shanahan, known as a QB guru, hadn't impressed with his first moves at the position Brian Hoyer was benched after six starts and Beathard, whom the 49ers traded up to pick in the third round, has been underwhelming in relief. Meanwhile, the 49ers' decision to bypass Clemson quarterback Deshaun Watson, the number 12 pick of the Texans whose brilliant rookie season ended this week because of a torn ACL, was drawing criticism. Of course, the 49ers bypassed Watson and other quarterbacks in the first round and celebrated because they landed their second and third rated prospects. However, defensive lineman Solomon Thomas, who will miss Sunday's game with a knee injury, has been just okay and inside linebacker Reuben Foster has been mostly injured. The new regime was flirting with catching its first bit of heat, but it's back to being hailed. Cardinals coach Bruce Arians, whose team was beaten by Garoppolo in his first career start in last year's season opener, suggested he could be a steal. I think he's going to be one of the top flight quarterbacks in that offense, Arians said. Lynch and Shanahan deserve some credit, but here's the truth they should send a gift basket to Patriots coach Bill Belichick, who initiated the deal. On Thursday, on KNBR, Lynch said the offer was extremely fair, and he termed it too good to be true. After Belichick's call, Lynch and Shanahan consulted for about 10 minutes. We said, hey, this is good for our organization, now let's go look at the compensation, Lynch said.
I'm thinking, just from knowing past trades for guys that are franchise quarterbacks, this sounds really good. Let's go confirm that. They consulted executive Parag Marate, who has charts detailing the compensation involved in past quarterback trades. For perspective on Tuesday, the Browns tried to trade a second and third round pick for Bengals backup A.J. McCarron, who is widely viewed as a lesser prospect than Garoppolo. The deal didnt get finalized before the trade deadline. Lynch said the Patriots and 49ers agreed to terms about an hour after Belichick first reached out. The 49ers, who were rebuffed when they expressed interest in Garoppolo during the offseason, were fortunate the Patriots were backed into a corner. Garoppolo is the final year of his contract and Tuesday's trade deadline was their last chance to get the most compensation for him. In addition, the 49ers are lucky they aren't in the AFC. The Patriots' didnt want to send Garoppolo to a team that could block their path to a Super Bowl. However, it might have not been a complete accident that Garoppolo fell in their lap. In 2008, Lynch finished his 15-year playing career by spending part of training camp with the Patriots, and that began a strong relationship with Belichick. Based on what happened Monday, it sounds as if the 49ers have a general manager and head coach who are respected. And now, it appears, they might have a quality quarterback, as a result. I won't speak for Belichick, but I do think there was a side of him that wanted to make sure that Jimmy was in good hands, Lynch said. He wants to thank Jimmy Garoppolo, and he wanted to make sure he ended up in a good spot. And he respects the heck out of Kyle Shanahan as a coach and felt like we're doing things the right way. Eric Branch is a San Francisco Chronicle staff writer. Email ebranch at sfchronicle.com Twitter at Eric. Branch 49ers 08 vs. Cardinals 34 when 105 p.m. TV Radio Channel 2 Channel 40680, 107.7 Spotlight on linebacker Ruben Foster The rookie first-round pick is listed as questionable with a rib injury, and he was held out last week due to back spasms. Assuming he plays, his head-to-head -head meetings with Cardinals running back Adrian Peterson, 32, could be memorable. Peterson, who was recently acquired in a trade with the Saints, still runs hard. And Foster said he relishes such tasks it's fun, but after the game it's no fun. Injury notes 49ers, Nickel CB Quan Williams quadriceps is out and will be replaced by Leon Hall. Cardinals, Pound Carlos Dansby Finger, hamstring is questionable. The big three on Saturday, the 49ers placed receiver Pierre Garçon neck on injured reserve and activated defensive lineman Ronald Blair from injured reserve. They promoted offensive lineman Daryl Williams from the practice squad and released defensive tackle Bryce Harris. The 49ers have lost a franchise year record 10 straight home games. In Week 1, they broke their previous record 7, established in 1963. The 49ers receivers, tight ends, running backs and fullback have 439 career receptions, 731 fewer than Arizona's Larry Fitzgerald, Eric Branch.